सदाशिव सरंभाम शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि थर्ड चैप्टर पेज नाइंटी वन इंट्रोडक्शन लास्ट थ्री लाइन्स तदपनोदाख्याख्याख्याध्याय आरभ्य तत्र तथोक्न प्रकारेण तत्वस्यादिवाक्योपविष्ट पद पदार्थ्यतिरेक सुरेशचार्य एंटरिंग The Mahavakya Vichara, <coughs> having explained the Mula Vidya, Ashraya and Vishaya. In this whole introduction, Sri Shwaracharya said that Mula Vidya or Agnyanam. is located in the atma alone agnyanasya ashraya agnyanam ar mula vidya ar synonyms both of them mula vidya yah ashraya atma eva we think agnyanam is in the mind but that is a direct meaning if you analyze more deep into that answer mind is also located in atma only so finally mula vidya is located in the atma this is the first point he presented then second point is मूला विद्या और अज्ञानम अज्ञानम अबाउट व्हाट व्हाट इज द विषया द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ इग्नोरेंस दैट ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ इग्नोरेंस इज अबाउट ओनली आत्मा आत्मा एव विषया हा अज्ञानस्य आत्मा अज्ञानस्य विषया हा आत्मा ओनली हैविंग सेड दिस how to eliminate this mula vidya agnyanam mula vidya has got two amshas two parts are there in mula vidya one is avaranam another is vikshepa avaranam of agnyanam or mula vidya alone is the cause for samsara veiling power covering nature of mula vidya is the cause for sorrow or human sufferings vikshepa shakti of mula vidya is not the cause for sorrow vikshepa shakti because of which vikshepa shakti only all this nama rupa prapancha is appearing the name and forms are appearing because of vikshepa shakti of mula vidya so 
Mula Vidya is really speaking blessing this entire universe with the Nama Rupa Prapancha. That is the greatness of Mula Vidya, Vikshepa Shakti of Mula Vidya. But the samsara problem is not because of Vikshepa Shakti of Mula Vidya. The samsara problem is because of the veiling power of Mula Vidya. What this Mula Vidya does with the second Amsha, Avarana Amsha, it covers the real nature of one's own individual's Atman nature. It covers. That Avarana Shakti of Mula Vidya, while it is covering our real nature, we do not know that we are Atman nature. Sat Chit Ananda Swarupa Aham Iti, we do not know. Since we don't have that knowledge that I am the pure existence, consciousness, Ananda Swarupam I am, because it is covered by Mula Vidya. Therefore, Shastra is asking us, you have to remove this Avarana Shakti of Mula Vidya. You need not destroy the world, you need not refute the world, Vikshepa Shakti of Mula Vidya, but you remove that Avarana Shakti, veiling power of Mula Vidya, not making uh, visible or not uh, allowing you to understand that uh, Atman you are, that Avarana Shakti you have to remove. That alone is our job, not removal of Vikshepa Shakti. Vikshepa Shakti is required, really speaking. It is the beauty, it is the novelty, it is the glory of Maya, Mula Vidya. Therefore, Suddha Brahman, pure Brahman is not at all having any use, Nishprayojanam Brahma. That Brahman has to be enjoyed and uh, um, the glory of Brahman, if you want to recognize, Vikshepa Shakti of Mula Vidya is required. Therefore, there is no problem in the world. Nama Rupa Prapancha, what you are seeing, there is no problem. The problem is only your Ajnana. In that Ajnana, that Avarana Shakti is predominant. Therefore, become a Jnani. As Jnani, what you have to do? You remove that Avarana Shakti. How can you remove Avarana Shakti? Sureshwaracharya says you can remove that Avarana Shakti only by Mahavakya. There are many Mahavakyas um, that um, Chandogya Upanishad, the Tattvamasi Mahavakya, he is taking here. Many other Mahavakyams are also there, but one Mahavakya we are going to see here. Tattvamasi Mahavakya, Chandogya Upanishad, 6th chapter, Sadvidya, there Uddhalaka teaches to Shvetaketu. Sadeva Somya idamagra asid ekameva dvitiyam. So that uh, uh, Tattvamasi iti Shvetaketu, that Sat happens to be yourself. Aitadatnya midagum sarvam tatsas. Satyam tattvam asishveta keto Aitadatnya midagum sarvam Atma alone is there in everything That Atma tattvam asi you are With this Mahavakya you can remove the Avarana Shakti You can enjoy the Vikshepa Shakti of Maya Without uh, afflicted by that Maya without uh, tainted by that Maya. Look into the line, Tasmat Tadapanuttau. Therefore, to remove that ignorance, Tadapanuttau means <coughs> Agnana Apanuttau. This is Siddhanta. 
ano tada apa no tau apa plus no the dhatu to eliminate to eliminate dvaita nartha abhava ha the moment to eliminate this avarna shakti dvaita which is causing anartha problems abhava ha absence will take place how duality will go away na you take out the reality in duality intellectually you understand there is no real second thing other than me the atma me means lakshyartha i not body mind complex there is no second thing other than me the atma dvaitam anartham that tragedy the problem will not afflict me in the world that uh, nama roopa prapancha dvaita prapancham there is a tragedy there is a comedy also the tragedy and the comedy will not afflict you because you don't give reality to that dvaitam it is like a movie for you it is like a movie on the screen atma and me the atma screen the nama roopa comedy and tragedy are going on is that movie afflict the screen is that movie afflict the screen and it cannot touch the screen because the pictures they are only a light and shadow only they are not real to touch the screen they are not as real as the screen similarly the dvaita nama roopa prapancha which i am thinking is causing problem this problem that problem bodily problem emotional problem all this appear as uh, unreal they are not uh, as real as i the atma <coughs> they are only apparent they are not uh, really there world is there not really <coughs> you have to say world is there or not na how you should answer world is there because experientially world is there in front of me from morning to till night what i am experiencing i am experiencing the world only world is very much there in front of me but world is there but not really not factually from paramarthika angle world is not there vyavaharika angle world is there it will not afflict me because i am the higher order of reality world body mind complex moola vidya is also lesser order of reality this has to be clearly understood intellectually grasp then only dvaita anartha abhavaha abhavaha means absence of their um absence of that terrible <laughs> terrible uh, problems of dvaita pravancha anartha means uh, lot of uh, problems if you understand that tad apano dasche vakya deva that removal of that avarna shakti of moola vidya is possible only vakya deva through mahavakya only what is that mahavakya how many words are there in that mahavakya tat padarthayo ho tat pada padarthayo bihi abhignasya <coughs> that is possible only for a person abhignasya is the name of a wise person the knower of that uh, tatpada and tatpada artha that 
you are mahavakya says that you are that paramatma that paramatma is you are tat pada means the word also one should know tat is uh, what type of padam it is uh, that brahman you are that means uh, what <laughs> that should be understood properly pada artha the significance of that tat word that paramatma you are when upanishad says is it jahati lakshana ar jahati lakshana ar jahad jahal lakshana this must be very clear for a student of naishkarmya siddhi especially if what you if you ask what is jayati lakshana ajayati lakshana i am helpless i cannot do anything listen to taitriya upanishad again listen to rama gita listen to vakya vritti many places i have discussed about this jahal lakshana ajahal lakshana vedanta sara all these points come there that is the tat पद पद अर्थ अभिज्ञ वाख्या सो दैट रिमूवल ऑफ आवरण शक्ति ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल हू इज इग्नरेंट कैन बी एलिमिनेटेड ओनली बै तत्पद अर्थ ज्ञानी अतः देर फोर ई होप यू हव गाट द लाइन वेर ऐम रीडिंग अतः लास्ट बट वन लाइन दट ईज उपोदात अनुबंधोक्ति देर फोर वाक्य व्याख्यानाय अध्याय आरभ्य सो सुरेशचार्य जस्टिफाई वाई ऐ एम रईटिंग दिस् थर्ड चाप्टर वै ऐ हेव टू रईट एट आल पर्पस् इज दिस्ली टू रिमूव द अज्ञान आवरण शक्ति अफ अज्ञान विक्षेप शक्ति यू नीड नाट एलिमेट द एलिमेशन आफ आवरण शक्ति आफ माया आर अज्ञान मूला विद्या अतः फॉर दैट पर्पस वाक्य व्याख्यान वाक्य मीनस महावाक्य व्याख्यान मीनस कमेटरी वाट ईज दट व्याख्यान यू हेव टू सी द वाच्यार्थ आफ तत्पद you have to see the vacharatha of primary meaning of tatpada primary meaning of tvampada and uh, asipada vichara tam tatpada vichara tvampada vichara asipada vichara this has to be done properly vakya vyakhyanam and uh, you have to come to lakshyartha what are the um, points how to what are the attributes you have to eliminate from tatpada tvampada what are the attributes you have to retain that is also must be clear that is vyakhyanaya adhyaya arabhyate this adhyaya third chapter is going to be started tatra with regard to this vyakhyanam of this महावाक्य यथोक्त प्रकार सेड इन अवर् उपनिषत्स यथोक्त मीन्स दट विभाग हौ इट हाज टू बी एनलाइज तत्पद तंपद वाच्या लक्ष्या वाट इज वाच्या यू हाव टू नो फस्ट देन वाट इज लक्ष्या यू हाव टू नो दैट ही इज गोइंग टू डू दैट अगेन प्रकारेण पद्धति मेथडालजी इज देर तत्वी देर इज सम प्रिंटिंग मिस्टेक तत्वी वाक्या इज देर वाक्या शुड बी देर वाक्योपविष्ट तत्वी वाक्योपविष्ट तत्वसी महावाक्य उपविष्ट दट यूच आर् देर इन दट महावाक्य उपविष्ट पद पदार्थयो पद एंड पद अर्थ वर्ड मीनिंग एंड पदार्थ दट ईज एक्साक्टली सिग्निफिकेन्स ऑफ दट वर्ड 
you should know the word and you should know the significance of the word padartha yoho or meaning of the word exactly krita anvaya vitrekaha anvaya vitreka here means anvaya means non variable that which continuously there normally anvaya vitreka means we say co presence and co absence that is one way of presentation but here we have to take anvaya vritreka means anvaya means that which is that which in hears in all the three avasthas anuvritti uh, and uh, vritreka means vyavritti that which is variable changing when you say i am and what are all variables changing what are all not changing you have to understand anvaya vitreka krutah we are going to do anvaya and vitreka that which is sat and chit are always there there is no any uh, lapse at any time for this sat and chit but body mind complex this nama rupa sharira manas they all come into existence appear and disappear that is called vyatireka variables karta bhokta pramata gnata hmm? walker talker <laughs> seer thinker eater all these are changing every time so from body mind complex as a karta as a gnata always changing but the i the sakshi chaitanya means non variable anvaya i in here in every uh, cognition i in here in every cognition as sakshi chaitanya means called anvaya so you should know who is anvaya who is vitreka body is changing balyadishvapi jagradadishu tatha sarvasvavastha svapi व्यावृत्तास्वनु अत्तमानमहमित्यं तस्पुरं तं सदा द होल सेंटेंस यू कैन रिमेंबर हियर बाल्य अवस्था यवन अवस्था बाल्य इज नॉट यवनम यवनम इज नॉट बाल्यम एंड कौमार वृद्धाप्यम ऑल दिस आर व्यावृत्तम अनुवर्तमानम आई दी आत्मा एम देयर इन बाल्य अवस्था यवन अवस्था वृद्धावस्था आई दि कॉन्शियस्नेस एक्सिस्टेंस प्रिंसिपल अनुवर्त आई एम देर ऑल द टाइम दिस इज कॉल्ड अन्वय व्यतिरेक हु इज ऑलवेज देर इन हियर्स इनहरेन्ट अनुस्यूतया वर्त लाइक ए सूत्रे मणिगण इव ऑल द मणीस आर डिफरेंट 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 the flowers may fade and go but thread continues like that here also i the atma i am there in every nama roopa the names and forms are changing but i the isness i am not changing this is called krutah anvaya vitrekah anvaya vitrekah variables and non variable i am the non variable in all variables <laughs> variables are all happening in me the non variable atma chaitanyam that is the beautiful analysis uh, prakriya done in the shastra so significance of jeevatma tvam pada vichara significance of paramatma tat pada vichara all this are possible when you study mahavakya tharoli for what purpose to eliminate ajnanam in ajnanam what you have to eliminate vikshepa shakti or avarana shakti avarana shakti why you have to eliminate avarana shakti avarana shakti alone is the cause for my suffering the moment i forget my real nature i make my life miserable that is why what 
ಸ್ಟಡಿ ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಗ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅನುಬಂಧೋಕ್ತಿ ಸುರೇಶ್ವರ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಂಟರ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಇತ್ ಎ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಗ್ಯಾಪ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ನೌ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿವೈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ರೀಡ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ತ್ವಸ್ಯಾದೇ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಸ್ಮೀತ್ಯವಗತಿ ಪ್ರಧ್ವಸ್ಥ ಮಮ ನೀತಿ ತೀರ್ಮನಸೋಶ್ರುತಿ ಪ್ರಧ್ವಸ್ಥ ಮಮೋ ವೈ ನೈ ನೀತಿ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯದ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವೆರಿ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅಟೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಟೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಐ ಟೀಚ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಗ್ಲ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟು ಟೀಚ್ ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ so such a beautiful text one of the siddhi grantha that is why it is called naishkarmya siddhi siddhi grantha advanced text like mphil uh, ba ma uh, phd mphil graduation post graduation tarat phd like that you no know, highest advanced text when a person uh, patiently Uh, interested in listening to Shastra Mahavakya Yada Tattva Masya Dehe Tattva Masi Tattu Tvam Asi Mahavakya Tattva Masya Dehe Adi Padatu many other Mahavakyas What are they? Prajnanam Brahma Aham Brahma Asmi Ayam Atma Brahma Like that many ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯಂ ಸರ್ದೇರ್ ಆದಿ ಪದಾತ್ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಆದೇಹಿ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಹಂ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಇತಿ ಅವಗಚ್ಛತಿ ಸ ಬೃಹದಾರಣ್ಯಕ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಬೃಹದಾರಣ್ಯಕೋಪನಿಷತ್ ಮನ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಅಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ತತ್ ತ್ವಂ ಅಸಿ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೆನ್ ಗುರು ಸೇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ 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 ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ತ್ವಂ ಅಸಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಪುರುಷ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಪುರುಷ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಪುರುಷ ಯು ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ that is that you are that means that paramatma you are you the jeevatma is that paramatma is the meaning that you are tatvam asi <coughs> asi means is you are or or is helping verb being you are the paramatma only you means you the individual jeevatma is paramatma when guru says guru is showing the hand you you are that paramatma that is called paramatma ishvara ishvara di paramatma ishvara aham ishvaraha eva you have to remove prapanchatrayam from ishvara shariratrayam from jeeva the individual from you or panchakosha so you have to separate you delete their three shariram's maya you delete there and you delete avidya and uh, shariratrayam here or panchakosha so what remains is atma so that atma and you the atma are one and the same when guru says shishya has to say what 
Sishya should not say that Tattvamasi Guru said, you should not say Guru uh, showing the hand Tattvamasi, you are that Tanna. Sishya should convert that third person Tattu into first person Aham. That that Tattu should be converted into Brahma and Tam Madhyama Purusha Eka Vachanam should be converted into uh, Uttama Purusha Eka Vachanam Aham. I am Aham, Aham, Brahma Aham Asmiti. Brahma Aham Asmi. Mahavakya. Tattvamasi is one Mahavakya of Chandogya Upanishad. Brahma Aham Asmiti, one Mahavakya, Brahadaranyaka Upanishad. So Sishya has to say, Yes, Guru, what you said is right, perfectly right, hundred percent, cent percent correct. There is no doubt for me. Guru Sishya should say what? Huh? Take Sishya can take to one decade, two decades, three decades. At least uh, at the lifespan, end of the life, uh, my what my Guru said is correct. What is Guru said? Guru said not Guru's own words. Guru said the Shastric words. Shastra. What Shastra said? Tattvamasi. One Guru said. And you have to say, Aham Brahmasmi. Correct. I am Brahman only. Hmm? See, this minimum grammar is required. That's why Sanskrit grammar, when Bhaguru says that you are, Sishya should say, not that you are. Sishya should say what? Yes, I am that. I am that only. I am that Brahman only. I am Brahman only. No, that, no, that to this. I am Brahman only. So converting this third person, second person into first person. Minimum grammar. Why Vyakaranam is required na? for this purpose only? Mahavakya pada pada artha to understand minimum grammar is required. If you don't know the grammar also, doesn't matter, you will get moksha. But uh, facility in understanding is more the one who study minimum grammar. All these are pronouns. <laughs> pronouns, na, tatu is a pronoun. Uh, thumb is a pronoun. Uh, you are, you are that. Asi is the verb. Then asi means what, how, how it has come. As dhatu. As dhatu. Madhya purusha ekavachanam tattvam asi. Similarly, aham, I am, I, Brahma, Asmi, Asmi is also Asdato, Uttam Prashayek Vachanam, Let, minimum grammar is required. If you don't worry about grammar now, okay. <coughs> the teacher is supposed to know all the grammar, Vyakarana. Every teacher must have thorough knowledge in Vyakarana. Thorough knowledge to unfold the words, to unfold the words properly. Otherwise, a teacher cannot communicate properly. Therefore, this is the teacher's problem. Teacher has to be confident in unfolding the words, Sanskrit words. Brahma asmi iti avagachati. I am Brahman, this student understands, avagachati, understands. Ava plus gam dhatu. Ava gam dhatu means here, this is also grammar, actually not required, but I want to share. Gam dhatu, gam means not English gam. Okay, gam means to go. Ava upasarga, prefix. Gam to go. Gam to go, how it can come like this meaning, avagachati and he goes. No. There is another, another sutra. Gatyarthaka dhatu nam jnanarthaka tvat. Gamu dhatu indicates jnanam. Gati arthaka dhatu. That dhatu which talks about that movement, about movement, gati arthaka dhatu nam root. Dhatu means root. Jnana arthaka tvat. Jnana arthaka tvat. It uh, uh, connotes, it uh, refers to knowledge. Jnana. That's why gam, our gam means 
अवगछति मीन्स ही नोस और शी नोस जानाती इत्यर्थः सह जानाती सा जाना स्त्रीलिंग वन्ना सा जाना पुरुष या पुमलिंग वन्ना सह जानाती ही नोस अवगछति then what is the benefit pradvast aham mama what is you mean by understanding understood this tattvamasi mahavakya and the student has claimed that i am brahman i am sat chit ananda i am pure existence pure consciousness infinite principle i am only lending existence and consciousness to the nama roop of pravancha I am of the higher order of reality. Nothing can touch me, nothing can disturb me, nothing can afflict me. Having understood this, how, how he has understood what he did or what she did. Pradhvastha. Pradhvastha means eliminated. Dhvams, uh, no, destruction, destroyed. Really speaking, Pradhvastha means madha. Falsification is the artha. Aham mama, I and mine. What this uh, student did, uh, ignorant student has become a wise student. Like all of you, I hope you are all wise now. Hmm? By studying all Upanishads, Bhagavad Gita, thoroughly you are coming to Naishkarma Siddhi class. What a courage you are having. Hmm? Attending Naishkirma Siddhi, you require a lot of courage. All people cannot understand Naishkirma Siddhi. Therefore, you are all courageous students. What is your courage? Uh, what he did or she did? Na? Aham mama pradhvastaha. Uh, elimination, falsification of ahankara and mamakara. I am body mind complex. This is only through Mahavakya it is possible, not by any pratyaksha anumana, upamana, arthapati, anupalapati. Any pramanam doesn't work here. Even not meditation also. People mistake in meditation, I realize na, never. Meditation come never come under any pramana. Uh, it cannot come under any pramana. What to talk of Brahma Jnana? Only Mahavakya. Shastra Pramana alone is required. That uh, you understand only after studying very much, after studying you know, so much, very much later you understand correct. Unless Mahavakya Jnana is not there, you can never understand but people won't accept this. All these are only scholarly people say, who said, everyone can know the Atman. Try. Hmm? Janma Janmas it will take. That is why to study Shastra you require a Buddhi Kushalata. Sharp intellect. Correct. Those who are not having the intellect, Buddhi, Sukhma Buddhi, they can never come to Shastra, first of all. Even they come also, they cannot continue <laughs> for a long time. So, it requires a tremendous uh, sharpness. <coughs> Pradvasta aham mama. I-ness and mine-ness. I-ness is at hankara level. I am, I am, I am. Then comes mindness, my family, my children, my body, my mind, my car, my everything mine. So mindness comes before, uh, later I-ness comes first. Uh, who am I? I am body, mind, complex. I have family, children, son, daughter, all these are all only my roles. They are all my vasham. That is called Pradvastaha. Falsification of uh, this lower I, Ahankara I with body mind complex. Hmm? And falsification of Mamakara. Once uh, that body mind complex is false, it is a matter, Nama Rupa, my own body, my own mind. 
how can that mamakara comes on any nama rupa mamakara cannot come because ahankara is falsified mamakara is automatically falsified you need not work for that so mamakara how to go how to go na first falsify the ahankara make use of ahankara you need not destroy the ahankara you eliminate the ahankara means you falsify the ahankara that is why gnani is also having ahankara functional ahankara i am eating food i am walking this is a functional ahankara everybody is having but gnani doesn't have identification with that ahankara gnani never mistook that body mind i am i am making use of this body mind no upadhi gnani knows if you also think like that i am making use of this body mind complex i am not the body i am not the mind i am the spirit atma making use of this body mind if you know you are a wise person this is called falsification of ahankara once i falsify this ahankara identification with the body mind ahankara i can never have uh, mamakara mithya mamakara and craving for anatma mind mind this is mind that is mind that is the cause for samsara <clears throat> so gnani eliminate or falsify that in the first line na is there i left that word na means human being nr rkarantah pullingah nr shabdah na narau narah that is the human being ityarthah manushyah suppose a human being who understand tattvamasi mahavakya from the guru systematically and claim that aham brahmasmi he understands by falsifying the ahankara and mamakara that human being tada gihi manasoho srutim na eti he will not have any the field of transaction really that is why gnani interaction with the world is like a leela we all listen krishna leela shiva leela all leela ram leela la leela means what hmm? leela means um, a sport rama also moved in the world krishna moved in the world gnani is moved in the world maharshi is moved in the world life is a sport for them why because this whole thing is the glory of me the atma srutim na eti in the field of transactions tada at that time gi manasah means language transaction karma vyavahara verbal na karma vyavahara na speech commander vagindriyam gi hi means language words verbal transaction manasah thought le- thought level transaction jnana vyavahara pradhvasta aham ahankara mamakarau yasya sah that person is uh, srutim na eti in that field of transaction of that uh, samsara again worldly transaction i am beyond uh vyavahara beyond knowing and doing no identification i transcend the identification adhyasa tadatma adhyasa i transcend tada then when then the gnani attain turiya atma gnanam <coughs> what is that turiya atma mandukya upanishad ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ನಾಂತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞ ನ ಭೈಷ್ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞ ನೋ ಭಯತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞ ಶಾಂತ ಶಿವಮದ್ವೈತ ಚತುರ್ಥ ಮನ್ಯಂತೆ ಸ ಆತ್ಮ ಸ ವಿಜ್ಞೇಯ ಆಯ್ದಿ ತುರಿಯ ಆತ್ಮ ಆಂ 
ever free from body mind complex i cannot touched by this body mind complex remaining in the body mind complex i can say i can say i am not touched by body mind complex just like uh, saying uh, always i used to show this pot holding the pot in the hand na holding the pot in the hand all of you can say boldly there is no pot there is no pot can you say or not ah yes swamini we can say how holding the pot in the hand how dare you are telling there is no pot yes there is no pot clay alone appearing in the form of pot like that there is no existence of anatma at all that is only an appearance pot is appearance it is only an appearance it is not there really similarly the whole world nama rupa prapancha body mind complex also is like a pot <laughs> hmm. brahman is like a clay mrityakaityeva satyam vacharamhanam vikaro nama dheyam this is a clay vikara clay modification clay alone is satyam like that in the entire world i the brahman alone am satyam the whole world is nama roopa naam ke vasti just appearance that is the idea presented in this beautiful uh, very innocent shloka how much he has given shrutim na eti na plus eti naiti he will never enter into this transaction transmigration never give reality never give reality to the verbal transaction and uh, mental transaction emotional upsets emotional problems uh, hmm? Uh, and uh, speech level uh, problems won't come whole problem is uh, only verbal and the thought level only no for people uh, worrying thinking this way that way negatively fear lot of things uh, and because of that uh, tension worry words are also verbal control also won't be there but a gnani is so comfortable and enjoy that is called gnana phalam sthita pragnasya ka bhasha samadhisthasya keshava hmm? dukkheshvanu dignam manah sukesha vigata spraha like that i am a gnani i am a wise person enjoy the gnana phalam sukham aham swarupah sukha swarupah let us go to the next uh, verse introduction next uh, page to next page page number 93 introduction edaiva tad tadartham tvam artham vaiti tvam artham vaiti tadevam avakyarthatam pratipadyate गीर्मनसो श्रुति न प्रतिपद्यतेवसीयते यस्मास इज सूत्रभूतश्लोक फस्ट श्लोक ईज ओनली ए ब्रीफ सम्मर् आफ द एंटर थर्ड चाप्टर सो तत्वसी वाक्यम हू यवर अंडरस्टैंड एज अहम ब्रह्म अस्म वेन गुरु सेस दैट पर्सन इज फ्री फ्रम राग द्वेश काम क्रोध अहंकार ममकार फैमिली चिल्रन रिमेनिंग इन द फैमिली इट इन अमोंग ऑल पीपल बट नेवर डिस्टर्ब बै एनी थिंग दैट पर्सन यदा yada means uh, when this person at the time of knowledge yada means at the time of knowledge what knowledge aham brahma asmi knowledge yada 
ever when then alone when the knowledge takes place tada eva that time alone yada at the time of knowledge tadartham tat means pure existence shuddha sat sat means existence tadartham tat that all as all pervading tvamartham avaiti tvamartham means i richit tat that existence which is all pervading is i am tvamartham means i am the meaning of i that which is all pervading existence is nothing but me the awareness consciousness chit brahman happens to be sat and chit brahman happens to be existence pure shuddha sat therefore i am the consciousness existence i am consciousness awareness so sat happens to be sat is equal to chit therefore i am uh, awareness consciousness therefore i am brahman brahman is equal to sat sat is equal to chit chit is equal to i therefore brahman is equal to i simple okay tvam artham avaiti avaiti nityam ava plus e dhatu hmm? ava plus e dhatu the one who attains avaiti aparokshataya janati ityarthah directly who ever knows this who ever knows this directly i am there in the stars moon sun sunnies moonies stars are because plural number mountain is trees that isness is mine alone i am that isness so i am there in every nama roopa in the form of isness <coughs> that is tadartham uh, then isness uh, i am there in the world and i am there in the living beings as chit tvam artham <coughs> tvam guru says you you means i am i am means what uh, i am i am awareness cognize cog uh, cognition no awareness consciousness principle artha means meaning <coughs> meaning of tat as pure existence meaning meaning of tvam i the chit avaiti attains as aham brahma asmi tadiva avakyar avakya avakyarthatam avakya means here aprameyatvam ityarthah vakya means vakya is a prameya vastu uh, here uh, shabda pramanam prameya object vakya is equal to prameya ityarthah avakya avakyarthatam means aprameyatvena arthah means prameya object avakyartha means what vakya artha artha means object one uh, sentence when you say the word it has got a corresponding object uh, corresponding object is there once you say brahman brahman object brahman is the name object must be there object is not outside as a prameya vastu vishaya object outside aprameyatvena as not as an object he who knows um kai kenopanishad vesa 
he knows and he knows not he knows but he doesn't know uh, that means what he knows as the subject he knows atma as subject but he is, uh, doesn't know uh, he doesn't know as an object atma he doesn't know as an object so that is the meaning avakyarthatam pratipadyate he understand he gets the knowledge of atma which is not prameyam that is the meaning he understands the knowledge uh, atma or he gets the knowledge of atma which is not prameyam that means what as himself he knows gir manaso ho srutim na pratipadyata iti that is why he is not disturbed by any worldly transaction by words or any emotional transaction at mental level also he is free from all disturbances verbal disturbances and emotional disturbances na pratipadyate shrutim shruti means sudhat samsara samsara uh, that uh, problem won't be there remain happily in the world untouched by the world kutaha etad adhyavasiyate how it is possible for him that nischiyate firmly he is going to oh, enjoy that knowledge firmly this knowledge that status that i am the atma he transcends the all accessibilities kartrakarakam karma karakam karana karakam all accessories transactions of words caused by the words and caused by the mind how is this na katham kutaha how is this known to him nischayate that is going to be clarified more and more how he knows yasmat how he attains that knowledge just i'll introduce this shloka and stop tat padam prakrutartham syat tvam padam pratyagatmani nilotpalavadetabhyam duksha dukshanaatmatvavarani further clarification explanation of tat padam prakrutartham which is the present context which we are discussing now artham tvam padam pratyagatmani so tat pada is uh, the world whatever you experience is in sadatmakatvad chidatmakam asyai vaspuranam sadatmakam asat kalpaarthakam bhasate sadrupena bahya prapanche chidrupena antara prapanche sateva chit chideva sat that clarity comes by analysis of mahavakya more details in the next class om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om